now we're going to talk a little bit about auto disposition. And the goal of auto disposition is to essentially get rid of as much as you're taking in, as, as many items as you're taking in, you want to be disposing of. That way, ultimately, you're not running a wholesale club and your evidence room doesn't get out of control. Now, to get to auto disposition, you're going to need to be an org admin. And we're going to go into settings and organization and we're going to go into the auto disposition tab. Now auto dispositions are based off of the different case offense types which were picked earlier. Now in auto disposition we're going to scroll down and we're going to click edit. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set the reviewers. Let's edit the reviewers and most of those have been set, so let's save those settings. And next, we're going to put in days to follow up on the different case offense types. So maybe we'd like to follow up on an arson. Uh, let's, let's keep it at 365. Maybe for an assault, let's do, I don't know, 720 for a burglary, 90 days. All these look fine. And let's go ahead and save these settings. And in this scenario, with the arson case, for example, we set the follow-up date to 365. So if an arson case is entered today, a year later, or 365 data, days later, the system is going to send that officer an email as if it's coming from a certain a group of users or a certain user telling that officer and saying, hey, your case is up for review, what would you like to do with the case and the items contained therein? Now, ideally, that officer is going to respond in one of two ways. Please close the case and dispose of the items, at which point in time you can do that. Or they're going to say, hey, you know what? It hasn't gone to trial yet. Please remind me about this in another year, at which point in time, as an administrator, you would be able to go in, edit the case, change the next review date to a year later, and a year later, the system would automatically send that officer another email that says, hey, your case is up for review again. What would you like to do with the case and the items contained therein? Now, all of that is going to tie in with your dashboard very conveniently. So if you go to your dashboard, and we're going to click on our Add Widget box, and we're going to pull up the Auto Dispo Next Review Date Stats widget. And when we do that, we are going to get this widget here. And that is going to tell us what cases we have coming up for review over a year out, within the next three months to a year, within the next month to three months, week to a month, day to a week, what cases are coming up for review today. Now, if the officers don't respond to those tasks and those emails which are sent to them, in that next review date, becomes or goes past whatever today's date is, then that case is going to become past due and you'll be able to see those here. How many cases are a day to a month past due or over a month past due? And you can, at any given point in time, you could click on that number, for example, 128. You can pull up those cases. It'll show you what the case number is, who the case officer is, and you can get with them directly at that point in time to kind of figure out what's going on with the cases. You can also use this as a reminder system to see what cases you have coming up for review. And you can, for example, we can see that we have 26 cases coming up for review within the next week. You can click on those, the number 26, pull those cases up, and get with the officers ahead of time to figure out what disposition orders they have for the items that are contained in their, in their cases. And as as such, you can use this as a reminder system to see what's coming up for review.